Okay, so I learned something in school a few weeks back when we were covering a little bit of cardiology and it blew my mind. It completely wrecked what I thought was true and I went back to where I was staying and I told the guys, hey, did you know this thing? And they were like, no nah, bro, that's so sick, yo. I kid, they didn't say that. They're both over 50, but their minds were blown. So I wanted to blow your mind too. So first off, I'm going to remind you real quick of your high school slash A-level biology and we're going to go over the structure slash function of the heart. Okay, so the heart consists of four chambers, two atria, two ventricles, deoxygenated blood returning to the heart from your body enters the atrium, your right atrium via the superior and inferior vena cava and from the coronary veins. It is then pumped into the right ventricle and from the right ventricle, the deoxygenated blood is pumped into the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. It becomes oxygenated in the lungs and then it gets dumped into the left atrium from the four pulmonary veins and then gets pushed through to the left ventricle. And then from the left ventricle, blood passes into the aorta and enters the systemic circulation. So it goes around your body, dishing out oxygen like all the candy. So that's your basic heart structure slash function. And now we're going to go over a little bit of cardiac embryology real quick so you all get it too. So, when you're as little as four weeks old in the room, your heart begins to function. It is the first organ that forms and it is the first organ to function. And it starts to function once its needs can no longer be met by diffusion from the placenta. It starts off as a tube known as a primitive heart tube, kind of similarly to the primitive gut. And this tubular heart undergoes a process of looping to form a shape that kind of looks like the adult heart. So it loops back on itself. So you have the tube openings at the top and then the heart divides to form atria and ventricles and this division is called septation and the septation of the primitive atrium involves the formation of two septa and three holes and in biology a septum is a wall that divides a cavity or structure into smaller ones so first off the septum primum forms and extends down towards the fused endocardial cushions to split the atrium into two we also have the ostium primum ostium meaning small opening or orifice which is a hole present before the septum primum completes fusion with endocardial cushions before the ostium premium is closed a second hole the ostium secundum appears within the septum primum after this a second septum the septum secundum grows with a hole known as the foramen ovale present having both the ostium secundum and foramen ovale allows a right to left shunt to be present in the developing heart and a shunt is a hole or a small passage which moves or allows movement of fluid from one part of the body to another. So it allows blood to flow from the right to the left. So this allows blood to be shunted to the left side of the heart and thereby bypassing the non-functional lungs because you get all your oxygen from your mama. And what clinical significance does all of this have? Well, normally the shunt closes up and forms the fossa ovalis, which is a dent or depression in your intraatrial septum, so the septum in between the atria. And this happens almost immediately after birth and should be fully closed by day two or three. And if this doesn't happen, that's what's known as an atrial septal defect or a hole in the heart. So yeah, I never knew that we were all born with a hole in the heart and that it was something that even had to be closed up. Although. It makes a ton of sense now, especially knowing that babies don't use their lungs in the room. It should have been way more obvious to me than it was. I guess you just forget the basic stuff sometimes when you go on a go in a bit more in depth. And something that I forget all the time is my passwords for everything. I used to be a chronic forgot password clicker until I found out about Dashlane. Dashlane is a mobile and desktop app that gives you a shortcut for everything you do online. You can fill forms out fast with one click logins and autofill and it works better than my phone or laptop's built in keychain feature as passwords that I have saved on my phone don't automatically save onto my laptop. So my passwords are trapped in one place. But as Dashlane runs on both mobile and desktop, that ain't even an issue. So if you want to try it out too, you can go to dashlane.com for slash science with Katie to get a free 30 day trial of Dashlane premium. And if you like it after 30 days, you can get 10% off with the coupon code science with Katie. So I hope you liked this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And thank you for watching. Bye.